we're gonna be doing the drop challenge. So this is gonna be the ultimate test for durability and suspension and folks, hopefully we can make it up to the very top because it is a 500 meter drop to the bottom and I'm not sure anything can survive that. So stay tuned until the end to see if anything does. Hit that thumbs up button and let's jump in. Also, a special thank you to Spieler for creating this map. Okay, so we're dropping cars from really high places here today. So we're gonna start off here in the D series. Uh, so yeah, uh, we are two meters up. So we're gonna go ahead and just drive off here. And you know what? If it can drive off, we're good. Look at that. That actually handled it really nice. I mean, it's just a two meter drop. Uh, let's go up to five. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to drop like a Bugatti off this. All right, here we go. Five and oh, it just bottoms out. Hmm, what are we guessing this D series is gonna make it to? I actually think it'll make it to 30. All right, let's go to 10. Okay, here we go and oh, but it still drives. All right, so we're good there. <laughs> well, I say it drives. Actually, the drive shaft is broken, but I mean, probably a fairly quick repair. Let's try 20. We might have to end it there on 10. Uh, technically, I don't think it survived. I mean, we could give 10 one more run. Uh, well, maybe we'll give one retry for uh, each vehicle if we need it. All right, 10. Don't break the drive shaft. Uh, oh my goodness. Hold on. Is it actually still driving? Hold on. Take back off. No. So you know what? I guess you could say the D series is only able to survive a uh, five meter fall. So yes, I have enabled every one of my mods, which I think a lot of my mods come from uh, Beam MP, uh, the online uh, servers. So I get a lot to choose from here. You know what? We're going to go ahead and go into something very fast. I don't think, say like this McLaren uh, 620R, I don't think this thing's going to be able to survive falling. Oh, this is such a dumb idea. All right, let's go with the uh, two meters and... Okay, that actually handled that like a tank. It was able to drive off from five, so let's try this one real quick. And... What the heck? How does it land like that? <laughs> I'm confused. All right, here we go. 10, will we be able to drive off from this? Oh my goodness. Uh, induction system. No, it still drives. How does this thing make it further than a freaking truck? All right, uh, let's go up to 20. Okay, here we go. I don't know why the window's already busted. And, uh, hold on. Can we drive off? Is there something janky going on in this car and it's making it indestructible? Okay, so the McLaren has made it to 20. I think to make this fair, we're going to pull out the Shintilla since it is a base car in the game to see if we get the same results because honestly, something's up here. How is this thing surviving? All right, 30 meters. Uh, here we go, and oh my goodness, it's gonna flip. No, no, oh, hold on. Uh-uh, no. It, <laughs> how does it drive off? That makes no sense. Okay, uh, let's go to 50. Uh, I'm actually amazed right now. All right, here we go, 50, and oh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, land, land. Does it drive off? I, there's no way it drives off. Like, how can... Oh, we definitely can't drive anymore. So since I'm suspecting something's kind of up, uh, we're going to throw this thing on the 30. That's what it was able to actually complete. So we'll throw you up here. Let's get the Shintilla out to make this fair. And then I think we're going to look at maybe vehicles with bigger suspension setups because, I mean, we ultimately have to drop somebody off the very tall one. I don't know if you could survive that. Uh, we're going to try, though. Okay, here we go. Shintilla, this is just a test to see kind of is the, like, the very, very... Okay, that actually did really good. Yeah, is the really expensive cars, are these capable of actually withstanding the damage? Uh, was the McLaren, is it just kind of like funky and it's able to do things it shouldn't be able to do? Hold on. Uh, all right, here we go. We got five and... My goodness, is this a tank? Okay, let's go to 10. All right, here we go. 10 and... Oh my goodness, I was not paying attention. And I just had a spike. I don't think that actually counts. I like that Spieler knows me so well that he adds spikes to the bottom of it. Okay, let's not hit those. All right, here we go. And, oh, okay, it's a little, a little crunched, but it drives off. Okay, let's go up to 20. You know, I actually think the McLaren, like, that should stand. Uh, it's record right now. Like, these cars are doing a really good job. I, I'm actually really amazed that cars like this can withstand this punishment. So here we go. Here's 20. Okay. Hold on. She drives. She still drives. What the heck? It's going to make it to the same as the McLaren. Uh, question is, can it beat it? Okay, here we go. We are at 30 and... 
Oh, come on. Land, land. Oh, come on. One attempt if I can't get this thing to land. Will it land? No, it suffered the same fate as the uh, the McLaren. Actually, it made it one less than the McLaren. When you jump off it, you nose dive. Yeah, there's no way that drives. Wait, did that just drive off? Does that count? I mean, I kind of feel like that counts. It, it actually drives. Uh, it doesn't turn. Uh, let's run it one more time. Uh, but I think I'm actually going to give it the same reward as the McLaren. Hold on, here we go. Okay, come on. If I can get it to land. Oh. <laughs> Why does it still drive? It doesn't really turn because the front end's like touching the ground, but it survived technically. All right, let's try the 50 on it. All right, here we go. 50 and come on. Will we get a different result? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Can it land? Okay, I think, yeah, I don't. Okay, we're really, really like almost like the letter U. Actually, more like the letter L. Uh, yeah, you know what? I think it's going to be, uh, wait, pyrotechnic. Oh, I think it released the, the doors. Uh, I'm going to stick it in the same level as the McLaren. So we're going to stick it right here. Uh, let me get a D series and stick it down where it stopped. But yeah, uh, so far, these style of cars are winning. Uh, I think we need to figure something out, though. All right, so I decided to go ahead and spawn in the monster truck here. I feel like this uh, this might be cheating. All right, here we go. Here's the two. <laughs> I don't even feel like we need to do like the five and the ten because I feel like it's going to land. Uh, this is the five. Uh, nice and easy. Uh, so let's go ahead and move up to the ten. Okay, here's the ten. And oh, oh, that was kind of a rough landing, uh, but I think we're good. Nice. All right, so let's go 20. Please tell me this thing's going to make it beyond where like the McLaren and the Chantilla made it. Okay, we got the 20. We need to land on all four. Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. Wait. Okay, so the drive shaft is broken, but it still drives. Uh, we're good. Oh, my goodness. Is it really only going to make it? Like, are we going to have any cars make it past uh, the 30? I'm not really sure. All right, here we go. 30 and... Oh, my goodness. Okay, keep the nose. Oh, no, the tires blew up. Uh, does it still drive? Okay, it absolutely doesn't drive. So technically, it didn't make it as far. Like, I would give it to it if I could drive off. Not necessarily turn, but I can't even drive off. So it's going to go in the 20 here. Okay, so for our next vehicle, uh, I think the Rock Basher has a good chance. All right, so boom. Makes it. It's all about the suspension being able to hold together and not explode on the drop. All right, so two's good. Let's go to five. I'm sure it's not going to have any issue with this. Um, actually, if it does, I'm going to be really amazed. All right. Here we go. Come on, we gotta find the ultimate vehicle to make it up there. All right, so there's a five. You know, we have the option for the Belaz. There is a version of the Belaz that has really, really strong wheels. Uh, I feel like maybe that would make it. All right, here we go. We got the 10, and we're gonna just drive off. Try to keep it up. You gotta keep the accelerator pinned. That way, hopefully, it tries to keep it level. All right, so 10's good. Okay, here we go. 20, and oh my goodness. Wait. Oh, it blew off a top. Wait, that was despair. Hold on. Does it drive? Oh, it drives off. Okay, we have made it past the 20. So we're even with the monster truck right now. Okay, here we go. We have the 30. Come on, baby. You got this. I need something to make it beyond. Oh. Okay, the half shafts are broken, but... Oh, it still drives. Yes. Okay, we have something that still drives. Nice. All right, here we go. We got the 50 and... Oh, my goodness. Uh, Come on. Come on. How do you test suspension on this? Well, technically, you know what? Oh, it doesn't drive at all. Uh, all right, give it one more attempt. Oh, this is going to be impossible. All right, here we go. And uh, gas it. Okay, we're going to stay up this time. Oh, I think it destroyed it. It still steers. Oh, my goodness, it drives off. It drives. Wow. There's no way it makes the next one, right? Um, I can't believe it drives off. All right, so we got 75 here. Come on, baby. If you can keep it level, like, it does a pretty good job. All right, so gas, gas, gas. Come on. It's going to nosedive a little bit. And, okay, hold on. Okay, steering is non-existent. Does it drive? Oh, my goodness, it drives off. Yes. Uh, all right, so the Rock Basher has definitely been the best vehicle so far for this. All right, let's move up to the next tier. We are at 100 meters. Okay, here we go. Do you guys think it's going to survive this? This is really high up. Okay, keep it gas. I feel like we need a little bit more area to land. Uh, oh, my goodness. Hold on. Uh, tip it back up because that wall is just in kind of a bad spot. I feel like we need a little bit more area. Does it drive off from this? Uh-oh, we finally broke it. So we're going to get one more attempt with it on the 100. Uh, but it finally shattered. Honestly, that's 
it's so high up. Uh, I'm really, really astounded that it made it this far. Okay, gas it at the last moment. Come on, land, land. Okay, a little bit of gas. Hold the brakes, hold the brakes. Okay, so it flips over. It flips over because of the wall that's over there. So I kind of feel like the wall should be moved. Uh, okay, does it drive from that landing? It does. Oh my goodness, it made it. As long as it drives off, it's great. I mean, it's kind of good if you land on the roof and don't damage the suspension. All right, so 150. It ain't gonna make it past this, is it? I kind of want to just test it on the highest one just to see what would happen. All right, so 150, here we go. And, oh, gas. Oh, oh hold the gas. It, yeah, this landing zone, uh, it kind of sucks. Not gonna lie. Uh, hold on. Let me gas it. Uh, I guess maybe I'm supposed to go off slow, but if you go off slow, you're gonna tumble. So you gotta... Okay, there we go. It's a little bit better balance right there. Okay, gas. Keep it wide open. Try to rotate it. There's no way it drives off from this, right? Hold on. Oh my goodness. It drives. I mean, it doesn't drive great. Uh, also, it looks like something exploded through the front of the car, but um, all right. So we go to the next tier. We are two away from the top. <laughs> I feel like this one deserves getting thrown from the top. Okay, so I guess the trick to this is not going off so fast, but then you need to go wide open about right here to try to keep it level. Like, I want it to land on the suspension. That's what we're going for on. Let off. Oh, that was a... Oh, that was... I think the engine just popped out. Well, technically, it can't drive off, right? Hold on, is that engine still connected? <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, let's try one more time. So, yeah, I, I think there's a little bit of a trick to this. Uh, all right, here we go. Gas it. Okay, come on. I'm holding it wide open. Oh, it's tipping. It's tipping. Come on. Gas, gas. Maybe this will be better. Hold on. Okay, it's officially destroyed. We're not making it past that. So, we're going to move the Rock Basher to 150. Uh, that is the uh, the new record right now. Now, i got to figure out a vehicle that can go beyond that. Like, this thing has insane suspension. I don't really know what else would be able to do this. Okay, so we're going to try a little bit of an odd one. Uh, I know this doesn't have as big, beefy of a suspension as the other cars, but this thing's always been a tank. So let's go two meters. I hope I can go fast enough off, off this. That way it doesn't catch. <sighs> yep. Okay. Two meters is a success with the, uh, the school bus. I mean, granted, we could probably skip. The Actually... Maybe the pigeon wouldn't make it off that. I think we could skip the two meter for the most part, but let's keep going here. And here we go. All right. And boom. Okay. Handled it good. Can it make it past the monster truck? I think so. I think it'll make it past it. I don't think it's going to make it up to the rock basher. Uh, seeing the first couple tests here. Oh, jeez. Okay. That was... That was bad. Okay, here we go. 20 meters. And come on. We got this. Oh, that's gonna hurt. I might have just landed in the spikes. Okay, here we go. 20 meters once again. All right, we got this. This is gonna be good. Oh my goodness. Uh, okay, well, I don't like we we're making it past that. So we know long vehicles, not a good idea. That one's gonna go into the tin pile. There you go. Okay, I honestly feel like it'd be a shame if we didn't try the uh, the brick car. I know this isn't gonna make it very far. I wanted to try the pigeon on this. But I was like, it'd be funnier to do this one. Uh, this is one of my new favorite mods and Hold on, does it drive? Oh, it drives off, it made it past the two. You know, I feel like that's a record for the brick car. All right, let's try the five. Uh, I picked the big off-road version. It's got nice suspension on it, and it's got some pretty big tires. Hey, you learn something new about that mod every day because uh, there are so many configurations to it. All right, here we go, 10 meters, and to hold it wide open, and oh my goodness, that was, that was bad. I see half shafts, drive shafts, everything's broken on it. Does something drive on it still is the question. Come on. Uh, nope, that is a big no. Uh, all right, well, you know what? The brick car made it further than I thought it would. So we're going to throw it up. Still in the five pile. Uh, but, I mean, that's fairly impressive. So I have a mod uh, with this Auto Bella that has extremely big suspension. Is this suspension strong? All right, so here's the first one. The two, honestly, we're not going to have any issues. Uh, with this. So, Mr. Editor, uh, we'll go until I start having issues with this vehicle. Okay, so we're up to the 20 with this thing. Uh, it's held up really well. Watch this. Uh, gas. Oh my goodness. I think that is actually potentially better than the Rock Basher. Uh, oh, buddy. Alright, let's go up to the 30. Uh, it's handled everything with ease so far. Okay, here comes the 30. Uh, alright. And hold it wide open. 30. 
what the heck? Uh, I think we're gonna have to pull out uh, the Belaz uh, for our final here. All right, here we go, 100. Uh, I drove off too fast there. We're gonna make it over this. Nope. Okay, so I'm gonna get one retry with that. Okay, so slow it down just a little bit. Wait till we go off the edge and then, all right, gas it now. Oh my goodness. Okay, here we go, that was perfect. And, okay, yep, still drives. My goodness. All right, here we go, next tier. Okay, we have 150 for this thing. Here we go, and gas it. Uh, uh-oh, 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 uh brakes. Gas, 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 gas. Ooh! Okay, we kind of hit the front of that thing. I, I still think that we need a little bit more landing uh, zone for this thing. Uh-oh, that might be... No, we're good. I thought we were going to hit the spike pit and... Oh, okay. Oh, my goodness. All right, so this is where... Wait, where's our other view? Oh, wait. Okay, so we're at the 150. So we didn't survive the 200 in the Rock Basher. So will we survive it in this? This is such an extreme drop. Okay, gas. Brake. Uh, gas, gas, gas. Try to keep it up. And... Okay, we broke an axle, but that was just one of them. Hold on. Flip it back. Does it drive off is the question. Well, I mean, the engine is hanging out of it. All right, we got to give that one more attempt. Man, this might be like the stopping point for these vehicles. Gas it hard. Uh-oh, we're tipping forward. We're tipping forward. No way, no way we drive off from this. Hold on, do we still have drive to the wheels? Nope, that's what broke it. So this thing made it exactly as far as the Rock Basher. I kind of had a lot of confidence in this one. I thought it was going to make it further. Uh, so these are our top two vehicles. Folks, we got to pull it out. Let's pull the Belaz out and see what happens. Okay, so I definitely think the Belaz is capable of doing this. All right, so here's the two. Is that really a surprise? I think the only thing that's uh, holding it back is that it's got a really chunky front end. So I feel like the ladder is going to like bottom out a lot but i mean this is working pretty good okay i've made it through all uh i'm up to 30 now i feel like this is maybe where it starts to get a little harder for the blast come on baby uh gas it. it watch it just bounces like it is incredible how resilient this thing is um okay let's keep moving oh my goodness uh should we just skip and just try up here let's just try for funsies at the 100 mark just to see if it's capable of doing this. Am I wasting my time or is this actually a legit contender here? This is what I was worried about. Mm -hmm. What the heck? Hold on. Uh, okay. I think the Belaz has something going for it. There's no way to keep this thing up. It's gonna nosedive every time. And if you nosedive, in theory, you're not actually damaging the suspension. Oh, let's go 300. Uh, this will be a pretty good telltale. I feel like this is almost like a cheat vehicle. Like, you're not testing sus the suspension. You're testing the cab. Hold on, this one might actually complete a full backflip. Oh, dude, this is going to be perfect. It's going to land. Oh, does it drive? Oh, my goodness, the wheels still spin. Uh, so this is like the ultra bouncy. I might have to go to a different version of the Belaz. This thing doesn't feel right. I feel like this one is almost indestructible. But you know what? For funsies, let's try the 500. Uh, we haven't gotten to do this yet. Yeah, if you guys were to pick a car, what would you do in this challenge? Which one do you think would be the most resilient? How are you supposed to even land on the pad at this point? Like, I, I feel like that's non-existent. Oh my goodness. And... Oh, I just speared myself with a tree. Okay, here we go. We got the standard. I got to roll off this one a little bit uh, differently because I feel like I just, I'm definitely clearing everything once you get off it. And oh my goodness, there's no way. This thing can't even survive this, right? Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, we are traveling at a high rate of speed. And oh, there it goes. Okay, so we had kind of a janky version of it, I feel like. So that's definitely how that's normally gonna go. Okay, so here we go. This is the question. This is for you guys at home what vehicle can survive the 500 meters it could be a cheap vehicle i mean i guess you could say oh use an indestructible one but maybe one that doesn't have quite that power uh let me know down in the comment section below maybe we'll revisit this and we'll see you guys next time